Welcome to the road to 1 million US dollars. Let's get right into the Bitcoin chart for today. Over the last couple hours, we actually broke out above this descending line of resistance that we have been facing for over a month at this point. So potentially Bitcoin is ready to start forming a new structure if we do end up breaking through this level right here at about 63.4K and then the level above that, which would be ideal if we do clear above that is at 64.5K because then we are making a higher high in the price. Though on the one day time frame, we are still simply consolidating in this descending channel right here, which is just a consolidation pattern for Bitcoin. Although at the same time, as I have been talking about for quite a while now, saying that if we do break above this trend line, potentially this could be the start of a reversal signal in the Bitcoin price. Because now this previous line of resistance where we kept getting rejected from it over and over again, is now flipped into a level of support. So we have seen the RSI bounce from this trend line and is now potentially ready to start moving to the upside, in which case you would also see the price start to trend upwards because the RSI is a momentum indicator. So when the RSI goes up, you also see the price get some bullish momentum. However, so long as we don't clear above this descending channel, we are still simply just consolidating. Although, like I said, if the RSI continues to break up to the upside, potentially we can go to the top of this range, which is roughly at 70.7K. Now taking a look at this symmetrical triangle pattern on the four hour time frame, where first we saw a breakout to the downside confirming a price target of 52,000 US dollars. And if you watched my videos the last couple of days, you would know that I was very skeptical of this price action right here, saying that it is very unlikely that we do actually go to that 52K price target, which for now seems to be the case that yeah, we are just reversing to the upside at this point. However, this doesn't mean that the price cannot go down because a symmetrical triangle pattern can break out to the upside and to the downside. However, it is good to see that the price is now trading back inside this range, giving us some better odds of a breakout to the upside. And in the case that it does break out to the upside, the confirmed price target would roughly be 72,000 US dollars. But just like I was saying, when we had the potential of the 52K price target all the way down here, when we broke out to the downside, I'm still just a little bit skeptical of this pattern. Now taking a look at the four hour support and resistance levels for Bitcoin, which you need to be aware of if you want to have a better understanding of what is possible in the short term here. So over my last couple of videos, I talked about this descending line of support where I said we could get a potential bounce from there because Bitcoin is also in this massive level of support which is sitting from 62.4K all the way down to 60,000 US dollars. And it seems that we did actually get that bounce and are now potentially ready to trade much higher. Although what you must be aware of in terms of levels of resistance is this level right here at about 63.3K. And we can also face some short-term resistance at about 64.4K. However, the next big level of resistance above that is sitting from about 65,000 US dollars all the way up to 66,000 US dollars. So those are the key levels that you want to look out for in the short term. And in fact, if you do want to stay up to date with the crypto markets in general, then make sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now taking a look at the Bitcoin liquidation heat maps, starting with the 24 hour heat map. On this move to the downside, we took out some liquidity right here at about 62.4K. However, most of the liquidity in the short term is still sitting above the current price at about 63.5K, all the way up to 63.7K, roughly speaking. And in the case that you don't don't know, typically the Bitcoin price gets attracted to where there is most liquidity on this chart. So where there are the most yellow areas on this chart. So even though most of the liquidity is to the upside in the short term, one thing you must keep an eye on is that there is now also a lot of liquidity building up to the downside right here. And if we do take a look at this RSI momentum indicator on the one hour time frame, so taking a look at the short term right here, you can see that we already tapped into overbought territories. And typically when that happens is that the price cools off a little bit. So it starts trading sideways or potentially you get a little bit of bearish momentum in order for the RSI to actually reset back to around this 50 level before making its next move potentially to the upside, but just its next move in general. And since that is what I'm seeing in the chart, it is also what I'm expecting in the immediate short term here, especially since we are right now testing a critical level of resistance 
and the RSIs in overbought territories on the one hour time frame. Potentially, we just need to see a little bit of sideways price action for the RSI to reset before then potentially breaking that level to the upside. Now, zooming out to the one month time frame, it is also very clear that most of the liquidity is to the upside. First of all, we have a big pocket right here of almost $2 billion worth of shorts that will get liquidated if the price reaches this level, which is sitting at about 65.7K. And then above that, the biggest level of liquidity is actually at 67.2K. And in the case that you don't know, liquidity to the upside means that these people are currently shorting the Bitcoin price and they will lose their money on their trade if the price reaches this price level. And in the case that you are a beginner in crypto and want to learn more about trading, as well as how to actually read and interpret charts, I highly recommend you go check out my Patreon course, which is a trading course for beginners, and it's completely free. Simply click the second link in the description of the video that you're watching right now. And then right here with this button, you can actually join the course for free. Now, moving on to the Bitcoin ETF flow tables for today, there is simply no data for this yet because it's always usually one day late. So in tomorrow's video, I will check back in with this. Now, taking a look at Ethereum on the weekly time frame. Recently, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level at about $4,000 and then traded all the way to the downside to the 0.5 Fibonacci level at about 2860. So let's take a look at the short term support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So taking a look at the four hour time frame, you can see that Ethereum is still in this falling wedge pattern with descending resistance and descending support. And typically this pattern is more likely to break out to the upside at some point. However, in my opinion, I think it is very dependent right now what the Bitcoin price actually does in the short term, because if we see a dump in the Bitcoin price, then likely the Ethereum price will also trade lower and potentially even break out to the downside from this pattern. And in the case that we do see a continuation of this Bitcoin pump, then potentially it could also send the Ethereum price higher. Either way, if you are looking for a reversal in the Ethereum price, so getting a break from this bearish price action and potentially even a reversal further to the upside, at the very least, what you want to look out for is a break of this trend line, because that could be a signal for you that the price is ready to reverse and reach much higher levels. And actually, before I forget, in my last video, I mentioned this bear flag pattern, which is typically more likely to break out to the downside, which it then did. However, as I said, the point of invalidation for that pattern is at about 29.15. And after we did see a sharp move to the downside, we then traded above the point of the breakout at 29.15, meaning that the price target that was set up for this pattern is no longer active. So in the immediate short term, there's no need in looking for that much lower price action right now. We simply have to wait over the next couple of days and see if we can potentially spot some other patterns in the Ethereum price in order to find that next trade. Now, as always, let's take a look at the support and resistance levels for Ethereum. So you have a better understanding of what to expect in the short term here. So right now, Ethereum is in a critical level of support, which is sitting from about $3,000 all the way down to $2,850. And this also corresponds to this 0.5 Fibonacci level at about 2860 as well, because in the case that we do lose this level of support, so we break below that 2850 level, then likely we will see lower price action with the next big level of support being from 2720 all the way down to 2600 for the price of Ethereum. That's about it for the bearish scenarios though, because in the case that we do just trade higher from here, potentially we might face some short-term resistance right here at about $3,040. However, if we do just trade above that price, then the next big level of resistance is sitting from about 3150 all the way up to 3250 for the price of Ethereum. Moving on to Solana on the daily time frame. Recently, we got rejected from the 0.786 Fibonacci level at about $205, after which we also traded all the way to the downside and even below the 0.5 Fibonacci level, which is a very scary sight to see. Either way, that 0.5 Fibonacci level corresponded to the 133 level, where we have now found some short-term support and are just bouncing from there, ranging kind of sideways and getting into this four hour time frame for Solana. About two weeks ago, we broke above this trend line right here and have not got anywhere close to that ever since. So that is a very good thing to see. And I do hope that we don't have to <laughs> revisit this trend line in the future. Either way, Solana is currently trading in a big level of support, which again, you have seen another perfect bounce from that level. 
and the level is sitting from $150 all the way down to $140 for the price of Solana. Now, really zooming in here, you can see that we are already kind of climbing above this very short-term level of resistance. So potentially the next short-term level of resistance is right here at about $155 with above that at $160, another short-term level of resistance. However, if you do see the Solana price trade above that, then the next big level of resistance is right here from about 166 all the way up to $171 for the price of Solana. This has been today's market update. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching once again, and I will see you tomorrow in the next one.